You say pralines or pralines. Either way, just say delicious. We're going to end our Friday show on a sweet note with Chef Brad Turner, who's going to show us how to make that southern candy classic. Good morning, Brad. Good morning, You've been Cheryl. working on this since the well, top of the you, show. You so know, I, I, I was trying to take my time to let everybody see the whole process. Mm -hmm. This really takes about 35 to 40 minutes right. to go from start to actual completion. And I, I wanted them to see the, the, the more difficult stage right. of this. Now, you said pralines or pralines. Right. We just say pecan candy. Oh, pecan candy, okay. Yeah. Do you say pecan or pecan? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get any easier. It does not get any easier. And you know, the recipe is so simple. You should go out today and they should everybody should go out today and do some. You said just um, a handful of just, ingredients. It's it's it not even a handful. Uh, unless you count the love and the time. Okay. Um, one can of evaporated milk, mm -hmm. two cups of sugar. A it's touch of vanilla, <laughs> yes, it is, and and a handful of pecans. Or if you prefer walnuts, you could, if you want to be inventive. But if you want to be true, you'll do some uh, some pecans. Now uh, I've been watching it. this milk here mixture here, and it's gotten what I would call chunky. Yes, <laughs> it is because as it starts to evaporate, the sugars break down, and then they start to form their their own body when, okay. they, when, when the sugars come back together. Uh, for example, when we put them on the, the uh, once you take them out, you want to get them, you can see that the, mi the mixture is getting a little thicker. That's it starting to caramelize. Right, too. it's starting to caramelize and all of that great stuff. And so it's just this simple. Once you put the milk in and the sugar in, you let it, you let it simmer down. Don't boil it. Don't boil it. Right. You want to bring it up, let it come up. Um, it's, it's simmering going, pretty good there, though. Yes, and it's going to get frothy. Mm -hmm. And if you, you need to make sure you use a deep enough pot for the, the amount, because if you don't, it's, It'll, it's coming over, right. It's going to boil over. And you said over. patience is the big thing. Patience because you've been stirring this for almost an hour now. Yes, patience and time. Now, evaporated milk is the chosen one. If you use any other kind of milk, uh, the, it's going to change your, your cooking time. Mm -hmm. And as Nikki D would tell you, depending on the temperature outside, it can also affect the candy. Yeah, it's hard to make t candy when it's humid. I do know yes. that. Yes, and so today is... Uh, it's, it's, it was a bit of a challenge this morning where I was in Midlothian, but we were doing, you can see how it's starting to get thicker. Mm -hmm. That's the, the sugars kind of bringing everything together. And it's also the time you want to be careful because if you turn away, it, it will burn. It, it will, will go burn from easily. creamy to burnt. Yes, and I had that happen. Uh, so <laughs> from this point, what are the next steps that we do? You Real keep simple. Stirring and just tell Once us. the next steps are when it gets a little bit thicker, where it starts to start coating the spoon, mm -hmm. pecans, mm -hmm. or whatever, whatever nut, whatever you, nut want you, you want in there, and then we're going to have a piece of foil. I put just a little bit of. Pam on there, a little mm -hmm, bit of spray, little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. so uh, and then so it would easily come up, mm -hmm. and then you just ladle them on there. And you make them whatever size you want, right? Whatever size you want. Now, if you the the recipe I made, I'm only going to get about eight out of mm -hmm. because I like big pralines. I like big <laughs> pralines. So, and you can see right here, actually, we're getting some some good. The, you can see the the consistent the consistency is starting to get where we want it to get. And, and you it's were actually saying that this down. cast iron pan's like the perfect. Right, or if you can ever find one, an old Magnolite pot. I know I'm probably dating myself. Uh, they don't. I don't even know if they make Magnolite pots, but in our family we still have one. Okay. And uh, and so once we get it to this point, you're just going to ladle it. Once we add the pecans, and then that's about and it. And we're good to go. And you can package these up for Christmas and yes, give they them make to friends excellent and gifts. See, these are oh, these are nice not, and crisp too. Not oh, if they <laughs> there you go. There, there you go. go. Okay, you can break that. Well, not we'll if see you're if diabetic, will, though. No, not if you're diabetic. No. No, we'll no. see if Brad will leave us the recipe and we'll pass it along at yes, wtvr.com/vtm.